Hello there. Uh, to anyone who's watching this, if you've been following our social media stuff, um, some big news coming, and coming very, very soon. Um, Knights of Mars slash Martian Lost Studios is changing locations in the very near future. So this is going to kick off a video diary of everything that's going to happen. So I've already packed up most of my junk, um, but the big stuff that still remains is to completely dismantle and pack up and redo a bunch of stuff for the studio setup. So I'm going to give you a quick, really bad last look at everything. Um, so here, guitars are still there. They're going to be for last. Um, all of the audio foam's been taken down in a pile over there. Gear's been kind of set up off to the side over there. Um, bookcases completely empty. But here you can see the studio stuff is still in place. Not functional right now, but in place. Um, you can see I have my... Those extra screens there are for work, for day job stuff. But everything's pretty well here right now. Um, I just finished up drawing up a schematic of all the connections and everything. So when I go to take it apart and put it back together again, it'll be pretty quick and easy. Uh, so yeah, next steps are going to be to basically disconnect everything, package up all the cables, put everything in boxes, and get ready to move. Um, also, hopefully in the next few weeks, I'm going to kind of redesign the desk a little bit. Um, in this bottom portion here, it, it's just unnecessarily tall. So I'm going to cut a couple inches off the bottom, lower this down a little bit. And likewise for this top rack, you can see there's kind of this gap in there, kind of want to bring that down so it'll bring the, the screen closer so it's easier to see. Um, also, I'm going to paint it because this is just wood right now. There's no protection on it. So I'm going to paint it, throw a coat of polyurethane on it. So, But yeah, so stage one going on here and I'll be back shortly. Bye. All right, next day and I'm starting to disassemble the gear circuit. Um, all the connections have been taken apart, uh, got all the pedals boxed up, cables are ready to go, uh, all the cables from the West Audio Titan are taken apart, so all that's left for the gear circuit is to take out the rack mount stuff, which I'll probably do later. Uh, one thing to note is when I set up this system, I actually did a really nice job of keeping things clean and cable management, which meant I had to use a lot of cable ties, and now I have to take out those cable ties. So that pile right there was just from one half of this desk, so yeah, this is going to be a while. So, all right, see ya. And there you have it. All the gear is out and boxed up and here we can see this is the most expensive box I have ever packed so I'm glad this was a big hurdle to get all this out of the way so next up will be the entertainment circuit then the monitoring circuit and then I'm pretty well on the home stretch to start working on the desk All right, so the entertainment circuit has been moved over. I just shifted it over on top of the dresser here for now. Um, it's got the TV, PS4. Um, so it's funny, you see this HDMI cable running completely in the way of everything. Um, reason for that is the, the move isn't going to be happening for a few weeks still, but... Um, I need to have the desk cleared off and remade and repainted and everything before then. So I have to get going on that now. Um, so that's why I had to move TV and stuff over there now so I can start taking the desk apart. But the problem is um, that little box there is my cable box. 
So while I'm still going to be here for, you know, a few more weeks, I want to still watch cable. <laughs> the problem is I only have the one coax cable to plug into it, and the it's not barely a five foot cable. And the only coax jack in this room is in that corner. So the power cord and the coax cable are being stretched as far as they can just to get that box right there. And then I found the longest HDMI cable I have. So be a little bit of gymnastics to get into the closet for the next couple of weeks. But hey, it works. Well, here you go. A completely disassembled studio. Um, yeah, everything's unplugged, unracked, put away, boxed up. Can you believe this? I actually still had the original boxes for the interface and both the monitors. So there you go. Studio in a box right there. So next I'm going to take out the, the top section of the desk, bring that out to the garage. Um, then over the next couple days, um, start taking the desk part section by section so there's this whole top piece that'll come out now then once i uh, figure out something for my work setup then i'll grab the the top main part of the desk which also includes the slide out keyboard that'll pop out next and then lastly it'll be the the two bottom pieces those are detachable as well so that's what I have looking, coming at me this weekend, so. Well, here we go. I uh, got all my work stuff set up on a little card table over there. Hopefully it stands up. Uh, didn't even touch Epion, so that's just where it was. Probably a good spot to stand it. Um, top piece of the desk is out down in the garage, so all that's left are the two side pieces, which probably get those down there later today. And that's that's it for the deconstruction.